So most importantly, I want to talk about worn and, and broken components that you'd find in your EZ3. And usually this is the, the first problems that you'll come across. Over discharging, not able to going around the rink all the way, poor battery life, and poor cutting quality. So some of the things we want to start looking at is the front axle assembly, uh, the crank itself up to here on the side here, the arm that's connected to it, and then the wheels and bushings inside of it. So on our bench over here, we've got a couple of uh, examples from the field. We've got the flat spots inside the runners there. We also have some wear in the keyway where that arm here sits in as well. So as you engage it into the cut position, it's gonna take away from the overall cutting height. So your minimum position now is your maximum cut position and it's gonna over discharge the batteries, giving you a shorter shelf life on your unit. Other things to be looking for too, especially in the wheel assemblies, you get excessive play inside the, the, the uh, bushing there. So as these components wear, it shortens the overall cutting height of the unit. So whether it's the crank itself, the tilt arm, the front runners or the casters, that all takes away from your overall adjustment. So the front runners there, so those are the like, skis that mount to the ice. So that's an important thing, the keyway itself, where the tilt arm actually mounts to. We sometimes will have eccentric play, like actually this one does right there. You can see the end play in that. If I were to combine this, this, and this, we could almost be out by a quarter inch. So you're actually a quarter inch lower than we were to start with. And that's the biggest misunderstanding with these units is people put batteries in them thinking that's gonna fix the problem. Really, there's actually a mechanical problem that's making the batteries discharge quickly. So we need to inspect these things before we continue setting up the unit beforehand. The other thing that's really, really important as well is the cutting points. So just like a knife or anything else, you gotta make sure that your cutting points are always tight and secure, and they're also got a decent edge on them as well. You wouldn't go ahead and cut ice with a butter knife. It's no different than using your EZ3 as well. You can see the worn corner as it wears. Try to pick a fresh corner, which would be that one or that one there as the replacement. These should be rotated regularly throughout the season. You do have eight cutting points, so you have four on each side and you can also rotate and, and use the other side as well. You change them as a set. So if you're gonna rotate one, you're gonna rotate all eight. Make sure there's no corrosion or ice paint build up in there. Could be plastic from the boards as well. So we're gonna make sure that it fits in dry by itself and be able to start the bolt by hand. It's also important that you making sure that you're using some blue Loctite to make sure these are tight and secure. If these things do come off, they will shatter glass. They're a hardened steel, so they'll break anything on contact. Drop a Loctite. And install our nut. This is the crucial part because if these things do come off, they are like bullets and they will shatter glass and or hurt somebody else. 